Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the core force problem B that is maximum sum. Okay, so in this problem we are given an array A of n integers. We need to perform exactly k operations on it. In one operation we can select any contiguous subarray of the array, possibly empty, and insert the sum of this subarray anywhere in the array. Okay, so our task is to find the maximum possible sum of the array after k such operations. As the number can be very large, we need to return in this format. Okay, by taking the modulo by 10 to the power 9 plus 7. And we know what is that. So let's see. Let's see directly example. So in this case, first we have 2 and 2. So we have minus 4 and minus 7. So it is not good to select any subarray and adding that because like that will contribute negatively, right? So we'll select empty subarray two times. So that will be like that. So here that is minus one. If we want to take the modulo, but we can't take, so we'll add the this mod thing. Okay. And that is our answer. So let's see another case <coughs> for better understanding. So we have two, two, eight. Everything is posi uh, positive and the maximum sum possible is 12, right? So what we can do? The maximum sum possible is 12. We can add it. Okay, let's add it here. Now, what can happen? 12 is here, added here already. So now the sum is 24. We can add 24. Right? There are only two operations till now. So we see here, right, <clears throat> and two operations, one more we can do. So again add, like, that will be 48. Now we need to take the sum of all this. So it will be 96 and the modulus is, okay, right. So first thing, how will you find the maximum sum? It is a like Karen algorithm. What you can do, you just need to iterate throughout the loop whenever your sum is less than zero, you Reinitiate it with zero. Okay, that is a simple logic. We'll see in the code directly. So no big deal. Ha. Huh. So other than that, what is the problem? So if you see here, n and k. So n and k both are 10 raised 5, right? And this value is 10 raised 9. So if you perform this thing. One thing you can notice, like one pattern is there. So if you have 12, so what is that? Initially sum is 12. Now you need to add 1 times 12. Then 2 times 12. Then 4 times 12. Right. If you see this pattern, this value is doubling. So what you can think of, we can make a while loop and initialize i equal to 1 and then just multiply i by 2 at every loop and we'll add it that we can do and it's not a problem but if we do this continuously there are too many num too many operations but we have the limit of only one second as we can see here in the constraints so it's not feasible it will give tld right but just think think one just one thing what if <clears throat> what if if we take 12 is common if we take 12 common then it will be 1 2 4 and 8 right if that is the case we can say this is forming a gp it means the <clears throat> a the first value is 1 but the r is 2 because it is doubling right so r is 2 but we need to go till n n is basically k here we need to get, go to k times so what is the like we need to use the formula of summation of gp so what is that it is sn and what we can do a times this is 2 uh, no not 2 that is r r times n, n is basically k here, so we will write k, 
and we need to do minus 1 and again here r minus 1. So what one thing you can notice a is 1 already here so we can ignore r minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is also 1 we can ignore this is this is the main thing so we just need to do 2 to the power k minus 1 and that's it done. So if you see in this example here in this example so the value is 3 so 2 to the power 3 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7. So what is this initial sum is 12 and after doing this so what we can do we can directly multiply this 7 by 12 right because we have 12 common so the answer is 96 that's it you got it so let's see the code for this to understand okay so let's see Mm, okay, so I don't know why it was not working in C++, so I have written in Python. That's not a problem. So what do we need to do? Take the input, same thing. And again, just take the vector, declare the S, Harry sum, next sum. So what we'll do? We'll apply Cadian algorithm first. We'll take the, we'll add it in the S, add it in the Harry sum. Why? Because we just don't want to iterate one more time that's why we are taking here and if it is less than zero that that means it is no point to like consider that's a array so we are reinitializing and if that is not the case we'll take the maximum so the final array initial final array will be the array of sum whatever is available you need to take that right so we can ignore this if max sum is greater than 0, that means that will make the impact. Otherwise, we, ca we can do whatever we want, but if it is 0, then it's 0, right? So that is the final answer, right? So what we can do? We can di directly take 2 to the power k minus 1 into the max sum. We'll add it in the answer. That's it. Take the mod, return it. That's it, done. That is a very simple solution. Hope you understood this solution and the problem. Like this video, subscribe the channel, thank you and keep coding.